You wash your legs? <laughs> um, well, when I shave them, yes. What do you mean? You don't all wait. <laughs> you don't always wash your legs. What do you mean, like put soap on my legs? Yes. No, because when wait when I'm. What do you mean? <laughs> you don't wash your legs all the time. Wait. <laughs> I don't know if this is, was a Caribbean thing, but I heard that when she used to shower or bathe, the grandmother used to make them use the underwear they had on as a washcloth. <laughs> to wash themselves. And then I guess that was considered washing your underwear at the same time. Uh, That's just you wash bugged your, out. You wash your underwear and then you um, wash yourself with it and then you hang it to dry. So you used your underwear as, as a, a washcloth. Yes, because we were short on washcloths. <laughs> but now in adulthood, I use a washcloth and he uses a bar of soap, which I don't know how he exfoliates with that. Not I sure. Like good, right? With his hand. Using just, just using his hand the and the bar of soap. That's it. That's all he has. I don't. Like you, your, your dead skin's just sitting on you. Just nah, forever. if it's dead, it'll fall off once you rub it. It's not how it works. I think I stopped using my underwear when I got <laughs> to college, just because I had a roommate. Stop wearing them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What do you use? You're not Stop a wearing them too. Uh, what is it called? Loofah, for loofah. When I got to college, I started using a loofah, um, just because it was. If you have a roommate and you're sharing a bathroom, you don't want underwear hanging in the bathroom. Kind of embarrassing. Um, so I graduated to a loofah, and then now I have a rag. And now I use her underwear to wash. She just doesn't know. <laughs> sure. Dominicans, or at least my family, and I'm sure a lot of Dominicans had like this idea that there were a lot of perverted men and so Dominican women back in the day would not wash their panties in the washer and dryer. They would hop in the shower with their panties, wash their panties, use the panties to scrub themselves and that was that. Because women couldn't leave their dirty panties laying around and so Tyler was like, why are you getting in the shower with your underwear on? Can you I thought she forgot and just stepped in, I'm like, <laughs> You take those off, right? <laughs> I was like, no, I get in the shower with my panties on, and then I wash them and I scrub myself with them, and then I dry them and I tend them, and that's it. I take a shower with my panties, but it was very, very weird for him. Because he's like, there's a washer and dryer, why do you do that? And I'm like, don't even, it's, it's a Dominican thing. Tyler's family has a lot of washcloths. Like, there's a whole cabinet in the bathroom just of washcloths. Yeah, we definitely don't use our underwear. <laughs> So in terms of personal hygiene, I always grew up using a washcloth, um, soaping the washcloth with the soap inside, then washing your body. When I met Isa, she didn't even know what a washcloth cloth was. She just used the bar of soap and she soaped like that. I don't like liquid soap. I feel like it's not as efficient. And I would just scrub myself with my, with my hands and the bar, that's it. I don't really use washcloths. And over time, I started to wash myself like that too because I wasn't smelling the best after that and she would let me know and I learned. She uses her nails to like get in the skin and like get the soap in the skin. Um, and it makes sense because like I'll smell the soap on her like at the end of the day and I'm like, damn, like you really cleaned really good. But she uses her fingernails to like get a deep cleaning. I would say that I take my time cleaning myself and I do it very well. Let's just, say, <laughs> let's just say when we start, the soap is normal size, and then when we finish, it's a thin little piece of soap because of how much she cleans <laughs> and how she cleans. I just bought a bunch of washcloths because they were a buck, and I felt like the ones that we had were a little bit ratty. So it depends when I use washcloths. So I actually have a scrubber, so I, um, Went to, we went to Turkey some years ago where they did this whole exfoliation experience, which is just amazing in terms of being clean. So I have one of those in the bathroom. And then I also have a washcloth, but I don't always, I don't always use it. Do you use a washcloth? You know, growing up, uh, we've always used washcloths. My parents would always, you know, wash me like with a washcloth what I have for like my face, mm -hmm. but you know, after going living on my own, I've stopped, I, I don't know, it's just weird. Like, I think you laugh about it sometimes. I, you know, like whenever we go to like a restaurant and they do hand like a, like a little washcloth to cleanse your hands or something like that, you see me like wipe my face. He wipes his it. whole body with the thing. So, 
Come you on. Are, they give it to you so you go like this and then you're done. But you literally go like this, then you go like this, then you go like this, and I've seen you wipe your head with it. I have. No, I have. We don't use washcloths in Germany. I've never seen one before I moved to the States. To me, or, uh, or I actually live with you. It doesn't have to do with the States, but I think that it's a, it's a black thing. Yeah, y'all don't use, it is, I, I don't know if it's a black thing. I know that the, <laughs> when I went to white people's houses, they did not have washcloths. I know, and I was like, that's, it is weird to me because I feel like it's not hygienic. But you think it's more hygienic than using your hands. I think that it gets off the dead skin. That's and true. it's also something I'm just used to. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've had a washcloth since I could bathe myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you guys just use your hand, <laughs> which like, I guess that, I mean, that, that has to work. That's how it was at one point. Yeah. But now you have, a, I, I got you a loofah. You do. You I know? like it now. So she I uses like loofahs it. Yeah. and then it gets dead skin off. And yeah. it's just, it, it feels like you're giving yourself a hug when you shower. Yeah. Rather than just like rubbing your hands. Ugh. <laughs> ugh. He doesn't understand white hair. And I could wake up looking like crap to me and my hair is so every which way but loose. And we'll like, and sometimes, you know, you just forget to look in the mirror or something like that. And then I'll go to like a restaurant to look at the mirror. and I'll look in the mirror and I'll go, what the f and I go, night, why are you saying anything? And he thinks I look exactly the same no matter what. That's what you want to look. He thinks I look exactly the same no matter what my hair is doing. Exactly. He doesn't. He just doesn't understand white people hair. And like one time, it's just I, there. It's there. One, it's one there. time I had this hair on my shoulder. It was like this long. And I go. <laughs> I go. First of all, why did you tell me? And I, I'm not very hairy at all. I have a little hair. And first of all, it was it was, it was here, right? Yeah. And I literally thought that white people hair fell out of their head, and if it landed on your body, <laughs> it replanted. <laughs> there is one thing that I do that is kind of like foreign to him. Usually when I get out the shower, I don't lotion. So he, it's like, that's like a big old thing for him. He's always like, why you don't lotion? You're always ashy. So that's like one of my big things. I mean, <laughs> when, you're, when you're of a certain pigment, <laughs> I feel as though lotion is an integral part of the hygienic process. So yeah, I, I find that very odd that he can just get out of the shower and put on clothes and just like go. That's a lot of work. At least I put in deodorant. Yeah, my mom used to lotion us for us when we were growing up. After a while, it just becomes something just like, I'll lotion in the morning, I'll, or I'll lotion when I'm ready, or I'll lotion when I get ready to go outside. But if I'm about to lay down, I don't want to lotion. I just want to go to sleep. Or I'll lotion when my skin cracks. You're trying to be cute. Or I start a fire in the sheets. Oh. One thing that Marquise can't live without is coconut oil, and he uses it to moisturize his whole body. And when we moved in together, he was like, wait, you're not using coconut oil? I was like, no. You aren't using anything. I wasn't using anything. You weren't moisturizing anything. at all. Well, I always moisturize my face, but my body just maybe like once a week. <laughs> 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 but you wash your hair almost every day. Yeah. Which but then, is also wrong. Which is also wrong, yes, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but then he was like, no, that's why we stay young for so long and we don't. That's why black don't crack. We moisturize. Yeah. yeah. And that's why, you know, I'm some yeah. older <laughs> German women, they look their age. Not all of them. <laughs> but if you would moisturize, it'd be yeah. better. Do you wash your legs? I wash my legs. I don't know how he washes his legs with a I bar like soap. The soap. I just <laughs> run it down under my foot. You know, it's not, I don't scrub, I guess, but I do wash. I wash my legs. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> People don't wash their legs. <laughs> like, ew. <laughs> Yeah, I wash my legs, I wash, you know, underneath the knees, cause you know, a little dirt gets under there. That's really weird. I, do you wash your legs? Yes, I, I, whole body, like feet, toes, everything. Do I wash my legs? Do you wash your legs? Mm. <laughs> do you wash your legs? <laughs> um, well, when I shave them, yes. What do you mean? You don't all wait. <laughs> you don't always wash your legs. Wait, you mean like put soap on my legs? Yes. No, because when wait when I. What do you mean <laughs> you don't wash your legs all the time? Wait, <laughs> when I put soap on my upper body, and then I do this, then like the soap runs over my legs to the bottom of my feet. So do you wash your ankles? 
No. Well, not every day. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Do you wash your feet every day? I wash my feet every day. Underneath as well? Every single day. Uh -huh. Okay. Yo, that's that's white privilege, huh? <laughs> we gotta wash all of ourselves. You got soap does it for you, right? Oh, oh, works. Gosh. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> so, I got this new toothbrush. <laughs> this mug <laughs> cannot just let the toothbrush glide. Every time I look at this toothbrush, I see him putting pressure on the toothbrush. And I'm like, you're just supposed to sit there and let it glow. It's a sonic toothbrush. Let it just chill. So you're supposed yo. to like do like, like really yeah, slow. Yeah, I'm just yeah. so used to this. I mean, I, you know. I so every day I'm like this, I, t I see you over there brushing your, <laughs> brushing your teeth like that. I'm telling you, when that, when that head goes quick, I'm gonna be mad at you. When I was growing up, it was a big deal to brush your teeth before you go to bed and when you wake up, it was a thing. And when me and Drew got together, um, I noticed that he wouldn't feel like it was mandatory to do that. Basically, <laughs> going to bed. You had to brush your teeth when you wake up and go to bed. Yeah. I used to just brush my teeth once, like when I woke up. Yeah. And then that was it. So when we got together, I waited like two months, and I kind of like broke the news to him where it was like, "Bro, I think you're supposed to brush your teeth before bed because you ate the whole day. <laughs> like you're gonna sleep with that in your mouth." So it's become a thing now in our relationship where. You know, he we actually learned from each other and that I learned that you don't always need a rag to wash, supposedly, and he learned that he can brush his teeth in the nighttime. And I learned how to uh, use cocoa butter as well. <laughs> exactly. For my dry skin. Good, good. Good job. Thanks for watching and comment below other topics you want us to discuss. And make sure you subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel.